Hey, Paul McGinnis here with some thoughts for your daily walk. I hope this is helpful as we just kind of move through some scripture and then try to find a theme or a verse or an idea that will just help us to take our next step to become who God wants us to be. And this one is specifically for those of you who have kids in your home or kids in your life, kids in your sphere of influence. Maybe they're your biological kids. Maybe it's grandkids or nieces or nephews. Maybe it's adopted or fostered kids. If you have kids or students in your life, then pay attention because there's a really cool uh, idea and mindset here in the end of Luke chapter 1. Before Luke sets up the story of Mary and Joseph and Jesus, he sets up a kind of the forerunner to Jesus, and that's John the Baptist. And there's this real old couple, Zechariah and Elizabeth, and they're kind of this reminder to, to the people of Abraham and Sarah, right? This old couple long ago who couldn't have children. And then God works in a miraculous way, and through Abraham and Sarah, God starts a new nation, the nation that would go on to bring us Jesus and change the world. And so now we're reminded of that, another old couple who can't have children, and now God is gonna do the impossible again. And, and they give birth to John the Baptist. And I love the expectation and the hope and, uh, and just the, the optimism that we find in Luke chapter one, verse 66. Everyone who heard about it, and that is that the miraculous conception and birth of John the Baptist, everyone who heard about that reflected on these events and asked, what will this child turn out to be? For the hand of the Lord was surely upon him in a special way. And that is so true of John the Baptist. But is that not also true of the kids in your life and the kids in my life? Right? What if we had that same anticipation and that same excitement, that same forward leaning? Man, what are these kids going to turn out to be? The hand of the Lord is on your kids, on my kids, on my nieces and nephews in a special way. What if we believed that? What if we prayed for that? What if we lived as if that were true? As if your kids and my kids were chosen by God, were created by God, had a, had a specific purpose in God's plan. Guys, all that is true. What if we were to live as if it were? And instead of noticing kind of where they're, they're slowing down or getting off track or kind of figuring things out, what if we were to notice and affirm and celebrate how God is at work in them and how we see his fingerprint on their heart and on their life and, and the, the optimism and the hope that we have. What, what are these kids going to turn out to be? Who are they going to turn out to be? What are they going to do for the kingdom of God? And to truly believe and live as if God's hand is on these kids in a special way. I think the way that we approach it, the way that we reflect that, is going to impact what they believe. And so let's, as the older generation, let's be sure that we believe in, that we trust in, that we hope in the hand of God on the next generation.